In the Milky Way galaxy, circling a star called the Sun, is a small planet inhabited by intelligent life. Earthlings have always been curious creatures. Even as we discovered our own world, we dreamed of exploring others. Perhaps other beings inhabit planets around distant stars. If they're sending signals, we could detect them with this powerful radio telescope and maybe send a signal back across the cosmos. But might we ourselves leave our home on Earth to explore new worlds? taken the first small steps outside our planet. We designed this shuttlecraft to carry people and cargo up into orbit. Here, far above the Earth's atmosphere, we're learning how to live and work in space. The exterior shows just a little of the expected wear and tear of many trips back and forth. The shuttle is equipped with a robotic arm to move large payloads ferried up from Earth. Houston, we have a go for Spa's maneuver to release attitude. It has lifted from the cargo bay a spacecraft which carries a German telescope named Orpheus and a remotely operated IMAX camera. Through its lens, we're seeing as never before the exterior of the shuttle as it orbits the Earth. into orbit. We are riding with it, floating free in space. Beneath us, the shuttle pulls away, its cargo bay empty. Orpheus will spend several days observing the hottest and coldest gases in our galaxy. Then the shuttle will take it back to Earth. For three decades, we've learned how to travel back and forth to space and live in low Earth orbit. Now that we've taken these first steps, are we ready to cross the great black void to explore the other worlds in our solar system? The journey will be hundreds of times farther than any we have ever undertaken. <laughs> 